Hello! So I hear we got some birthdays. I had my birthday a week ago, Gemini's. That's awesome. Good crowd. I am from Chicago. I have three brothers. You know, growing up, my brothers were not like the overprotective type. I never had to worry about bringing a guy home and fear that he might get his butt kicked. Instead, my brothers would be more like, hmm, you like my sister? Yeah, just take her. She's easy. <laughs> No, but we, we played a lot of sports growing up. Um, I remember one year our parents bought us a foosball table. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's like a tall version of a soccer game when you puppeteer them. It's, it's fun, right? And uh, my brothers would always be like, well, pick a side, Heather. What color do you want to be? Black or white? Pick a side. And I was always on the black side. And they were always like, why are you always black? I was like, because they're better at sports. <laughs> Just kidding. That's for Obama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got picked on a lot. My grandma hates me till this day. I don't even know what I did. She'd always compliment me, but she was like indirectly, she was insulting me. She'd be like, wow, Heather, you look really good. You been throwing up? <laughs> yes. Wow, you're so tan. You think that looks good? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and my father, uh, let's just say I really wasn't daddy's little girl. Um, because daddy didn't want a little girl. <laughs> I really believe that, because he told me. Um, you know, and it, there was a lot of hints, too, growing up. You know, it's like, he wouldn't let me uh, do dance classes. I could only play sports. Uh, he wouldn't let me, you know, grow my hair long, wear pink. Gave me a bowl haircut while I was sleeping. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of hints. The first time I wore makeup and I came down the stairs, he was just like, Heather, if you're gonna wear the makeup and look like a Budana, at least cover your mustache. <laughs> I was like, but dad, I'm eight. <laughs> Italians, we are hairy, aren't we? It's probably the reason my boyfriend broke up with me. Um, you know, and I don't know like, if I'm more upset at the fact that me and my boyfriend just broke up, you know, and I feel like all that time's wasted. Or now I gotta train somebody new. Oh. He was so close. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't wanna die alone. I enlisted in eHarmony. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it was MySpace, it's free. Uh, yeah, I gotta work with the economy. Um, <laughs> I was on this one date, I remember, and we were walking out to the guy's car and uh, he went to open the passenger side door for me. I got so confused. <laughs> I was like, oh, did you want me to drive? <laughs> True story. <laughs> it's so hard to find uh, a guy with manners. That's all I'm gonna say to that. It doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so I am from Chicago, born and raised. Um, I flew home for the holidays, forgot what the snow was like sitting in a nice, nice snowy storm at the airport waiting for my parents to pick me up. Seven hours delayed, horrible. You know, and it got me thinking that when it's snowing, that's the only time you're gonna find a woman's afraid of six inches. <laughs> Before I was moving here, uh, everybody, all my family had a lot to say. They were just like, Heather, whatever you do when you get to LA, just don't do porn. Like, okay, they're like, just, you know, become a server, whatever you gotta do, don't, just don't do porn. I was like, all right. Two years later, you know, I get a call from a concerned person. They're like, are you sure you're not doing porn? Because uh, I was watching this porn last night and you looked just like the girl in the video. <laughs> like, I gotta watch it over and over. I was like, dad, for the last time, I am not doing porn. <laughs> if I was gonna go that route, you know, I would just become a hooker. Because you get to make your own schedule, and that works better for acting. <laughs> Do you think a hooker just woke up one day and thought to herself, you know, I don't think I'm gonna fit into the corporate world. <laughs> Maybe the corporate world will fit better in me. <laughs> I used to work in the corporate world before I started doing comedy. Yep, I used to be a bank teller. 
And I remember them telling us that the number one reason why banks got robbed was because as the employees, we weren't giving the customers enough eye contact and personality when they first walked through the door. I'm like, yeah, that's the reason. Okay. So I was like, all right, well, Lord bless me with these two big peepers. I'm going to go for employee of the month. Every time someone walked into the bank, it didn't matter who it was. I was just like, hi, welcome to Bank of America. How can I help you? Hi, come on in. <laughs> but if I really wanted to freak him out, I would go cross-eyed. I'd make one eye look straight, and one eye look at the next person in line. Hi, ma'am, how can I help you today? Excuse me, sir, you need to hold on a second. Ma'am, did you need a draw slip? Sir, what are you reaching for over there? Ma'am, would you like that in 10s or 20s? Sir, is that a gun? Ma'am, duck. I mean, who is gonna rob this? They're gonna think I got just like Monopoly money and a blow pop in my drawer. Oh, cross-eyed is so much fun. I used to date a guy that was cross-eyed, but uh, he wore a helmet. <laughs> you guys have been great. I'm Heather Marie Zagone. God bless. <laughs>